one Saturday, a person like you watched this video, and seven days later, they died. Mwahahaha! The walls are juicy! What is wrong with you? You know, I don't really know. You wanna see dust fall from the ceiling? Hey guys, it's Product Trippy. So, CJ2 Game asked, do you get scared while watching horror movies? Actually, I do not. I mean, I love horror movies, but it's hard to find a true jump out of your seat, popcorn goes everywhere, and you <laughs> shit your pants kind of movie these days. CJ2 Game also asked, do you believe in ghosts? Surprisingly, I do. It's because I've had numerous experiences with ghosts in the past. So sit down, get comfortable, grab something to eat or drink because it's story time, mother fluffers. So I'm going to try to be descriptive but brief when I'm explaining these because I don't want to drag this video on like 10 minutes. Um, that's easier said than done, but anyway. The first experience I had was when I was in elementary school and around the time that one of my uncles passed away, my brother and I had a reputation of leaving the house late, which in turn made us late for school. So what my uncle did was he would turn on the living room TV, which was turned off. Weird thing though was that it happened every single day before school if we were going to be late and almost at the exact same time every single day that it happened. So the second experience happened after we put down our dog Luke because of his immobility issues. So shortly after we got our puppy Preston and one night around 11 o'clock p.m. I heard what sounded like a dog's claws on our wooden kitchen floor and it sounded as though a dog was running through the kitchen. Now what makes this experience more interesting than the other ones was the fact that two of our family pets actually heard it as well. At the same time I heard it, my cat Jack, his head popped up and his ears curved back. And I heard our dog Preston, his collar, I heard his collar, you know, like this, like as he was like propping up his head, like what the heck was that? So the last one happened to my dad last summer. In our backyard we have these big tree bush thingies and around the same time every evening, one of the branches would like bob up and down. So finally one day my dad thought, why don't I just say, hi Margaret. And as soon as he did, the branch stopped bobbing up and down. So that kind of proved the theory that actually Margaret, who's my grandma who passed away last spring, she was basically saying, hi, and I'm here, basically. And it kind of connects everything because she loved gardening and she loved nature. So that was part of nature, I guess. And it kind of connected everything. So that was kind of hard. So I'm pretty sure I dragged this video on way longer than I had planned. So please subscribe to me if you haven't already done so. I upload videos every Tuesday and Saturday. Give this video a thumbs up below if I made you laugh or smile. And leave your questions for me in the comments below and I might just answer it in next week's episode. As always, I'm Predictor B. I love you guys. Thanks for your questions and thanks for watching.